first off, how's the pre-season preparations in Warrington and Rochdale been going so far? Yeah, really well, mate. Obviously, there's um, some good facilities at, at Warrington. There's was also training back in the town as well. has been good for people just to come and watch and support. You know, in terms of training, we can't ask anything else of the lads. They've, they've really ripped in since day one and um, we've even had a couple of sessions over Christmas which were both well attended. So everyone's um, everyone's really champing at the bit now to play. Is there a lot of support coming from the town for the lads ready for the season? I think there's a um, you know freshness about the place and uh, everyone's anticipating uh, you know us to do better than last year. Obviously with some you know good signings and what we've retained as players and um, just all the different sort of changes in place, new partnership team. So I think that's got um, a lot of excitement around the town and you know couple that with a couple of local signings as well. I think everybody's um, looking forward to watching them play. Um, do you feel the lads have benefited, benefited from a more professional environment this time out, yeah, including the likes of um, Ryan Gibney coming in as a strength and conditioner? I, I can't really um, comment on the on the previous environment. We just I know that the one they're in at the minute is is very is very uh, professional. Um, Ryan Gibney has been outstanding as a conditioner, but so have the other assistant coaches. You know, it's a team effort. I think we've got a good team of coaches there and a good squad as well. So, I think um, a lot of the other the younger guys have, have really progressed in, in pre season, and um, the older guys have, have have accepted the changes and, and really bought into what we're trying to do. Um, how are you getting ready now to get out there then and put all that effort onto the pitch on Sunday? Yeah, look, we've got, you can do a lot of things in training, but you know we need to be in that game environment under those match conditions, that pressure this week. Um, you know, a team with the calibre of players Salford have got will be a real test for the players. But there's a lot of players in in our squad who've got the potential to play at that level, so it'll it'll be a good test for them and to see where they're at and. We won't be reading too much into to the result either way. It'll be about the performance and you know just having a look at what things probably we need to focus on in the next few weeks before we play our first competitive game against Barrow. What are you looking for from the players then uh, on on Sunday? What what what, is, what are the aims for, just for the game? To, for, just to put into practice some of the systems and the shape and the, and the structures we've been doing in training. Those fundamentals, you know, working hard. You know, chasing kicks hard, the line speed, just just little fundamentals like that that we can build on, just the nuts and bolts, and and then as I say, putting into practice things that we've been working on in, in training. We have been doing a lot of oppose and putting it under pressure in you know training environment, but we need that game, you know, that game environment to really to push them to that next level that we need them to be at. Do you think the lads will um, benefit from having tested themselves against Super League opposition? Was that a reason you picked Salford as a friendly? Um, yeah, we wanted to play, you know, someone a team in a full time environment, and like you say, it'll challenge us if we can get to a certain level against them. And then when we're playing teams in and around us and stay at that level, that intensity is going to benefit us uh, as a whole. And it'll, you know, like I said previous, just those guys who've got potential to play at that level, it'll give them a, an understanding of what. Of where they need to be at and and see where they're at at the moment. We spoke about how the lads are um, raring to go. How about yourself? It's been a lot of hard work since you you're appointed. Are you, are you looking forward to your first game in charge? Yeah, yeah I'm not really thought about it really. It's just you know one training session to the next. But as it gets a bit closer, yeah, I'm excited. I'm you know I'm glad it's at Scotland and it'll be good to you know to go out there and coach coach be the head coach for the first time for a game. Um, myself and you know the. The new staff and the new players. I think everyone's a bit like that, and um, you know we can't wait to to rip in. And you know personally as well, just looking forward to to getting out there on Sunday. And finally, you're a big fan of processes and going one step at a time. Where are you now in that process, and and what aims have you got for pre-season? Um, I think we definitely you know ticks a lot of boxes in pre-season. We're where. You know, I want us to be at this stage of of pre-season. Obviously, the the games will 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 be able to gauge that as well. Um, but yeah, look, we're we're in a good position physically and mentally and, and skill wise. I think the lads are really ripping in in the gym, and I think they probably surprised themselves a little bit as well. But I think we're we're looking very fit and 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 uh, very physical, and now it's just the the chance to take that into the to the game conditions.